In this presentation, we will study how to reduce the states and what is the state assignment. However, when we were studying the sequence detector, we not only saw what is the state assignment, but we also used it. So I'm not going to take much time for the state assignment and I will complete it very quickly. Then we will move to this reduction of the states. So a state assignment is nothing special, but it's just a simple assignment of the binary codes to your states. For example, if I have only three states, Let's say A, B, and C. Then I can assign A equal to 0, 0, B equal to 0, 1, and C equal to 1, 0. So this is all that you have to know about the state assignment, and it is required because we will use it in the state table, and uh, using it, we will develop the K map and then the circuit. So this is all you have to do in this state assignment. Just use the binary codes for the states. If you have four states, let's say D, then it will be one, one. If you have five states, E, then use three bits for it like this. And E will be one, zero, zero. Now we will move to the state reduction and uh, you can see a state diagram here having one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven states and I don't know if any of these states out of this seven is redundant. We have to check it by using a special technique and definitely no one will want the extra circuitry or the extra straight with them. So we use this method to be sure that we have the minimal state diagram. We don't have any extra states and it is very favorable when you just uh, have the state diagram for the circuit and you just don't care about the extra states. You just don't want to put much effort when designing your state diagram. But after it, you just make a table, see the things and reduce the states. So this is the approach. So I always say, don't worry about this state diagram, just make it and then use the state reduction technique to get the uh, smallest possible state diagram or the minimal state diagram. So let's see how to do it. I just need a state table. This is my state table. And I will reduce the state or eliminate the state if its next state and the output are same. So this is the important point that you have to remember. If the output, this is the output column and this is the next state column depending upon the inputs. And uh, if it is same, the next state and the output is same, then I can reduce that state. Let's see how we can do it. And uh, if I analyze this table, then I can see for E, for E, I have next state as AF and the output as 0, 1. Similarly, if I see for G, I can see the next state is AF and output is 0, 1. Let's see in this state diagram, if I'm on E and I have input as 0, I will go on A. And if I have input as 1, I will go on F. Similarly, if I am on G and I give the input equal to 0, I will go on A, like I was going on A when the input was 0 in this case. Similarly, if I give input as 1, I will go on F and in this case also I am going on F if input is 1. So they have the same output and also the same next state. So I can write, I can write E equal to G and I will eliminate G from this table. I will use my rubber for this purpose. I will just rub G. Now we have eliminated one state. Let's see if we can eliminate some more states or not. I have already told you that E is equal to G. Now I can write E equal to G here. And uh, if I compare D with F, I can see the next states are same G, F, G, F and also the output 0, 1, 0, 1. So again D is equal to F and hence I can eliminate F also. So I will uh, remove F and I think we have got the minimal possible state table. You cannot have the reduction furthermore. So this is the final state table and it can't be reduced further. So we can modify our state diagram depending upon this state table. So let's do it. I have only one, two, three, four, five states instead of seven. A is the first state, then B, then C, D and E. Now let's draw the transition. I'm on A and if the input is 0, I will be on A. The next state is also A. 
if x is 0 and output is also 0 now when input is 1 I will go on B when input is 1 and the output is still 0 now let's see when I'm on B what are the transitions when input is 0 I will go on C so 0 0 and when input is 1 I will go on D so 1 0 now let's see when I'm on C what I have the input is 0 I will be on A so I will be on A with 0 input and output is also 0 now when input is 1 I will go on D like this and the input is 1 output is 0 now I am on D and if input is 0 I will go on E so I will go on E like this for input 0 and output is 0 here you can see now if input is 1 I will go on F and F is equal to D so I will remain on the same state like this if input is 1 and output is also going to be 1 now if I'm on E and input is 0 I will go on A with output equal to 0 so I will go on A when input is 0 and output is also 0 if input is 1 I will go on F and F is equal to D so I will go on D like this when input is 1 and output is also 1 so this is how we will do the state reduction by using the state table and you already know state assignment so these are the two important topics in the designing of the sequential circuits I hope you got it and uh, like we used kmab in the combinational circuits to get the minimum possible result we use the state reduction here to get the minimum possible state diagram and once we have the minimal state diagram we can have definitely the minimal circuit so this is all for this presentation I will end it here see you in the next one